What's up, everybody? Um, we're going to be doing the next Fire Academy lesson today. And in this lesson, we're going to be covering two things. The first is going to be uh, portable ladders, which if you remember in the last video, we went over the ladders on the fire trucks and how to use them. In this video, we're going to show you the ladders that you can take off the trucks and use them to access places where otherwise you wouldn't be able to reach. So, for example, scaffoldings, fire escapes, windows, uh, setbacks, um, things like that. So we're going to go uh, to building two today. We've got a smoke condition there. And we'll be demonstrating that as well as the um, second thing we want to show, which is the fire alarm system. And we're going to go ahead and head over there. So the first thing we can do is, if we're a first due engine company at a fire and we've got people trapped at a window or something and we need to urgently use our portable ladder, um, we have one on our truck. So what we can do is right click it and it'll bring it down to our character and you press T to equip it. You can put it back by pressing T again. Uh, we're going to use it. So, for example, we'll just use it to get up on this uh, this little ledge up here. What we'll do is we'll walk here. Wherever we can, wherever we want to use it, we can put it down. So we'll walk here, parallel to the uh, wherever we're trying to get up. We'll press F, and it'll put the ladder down for us to extend it. I think we're too far still, so I'll get a little closer. Right here is better. We press Q to extend it. We can retract it, put it as long as we need it. I'm going to extend it all the way just to be safe. And we'll press F again to lean it down. And from there we can press C to climb it. So you can use this on any, uh, any point you're trying to access. So yeah, we do have a smoke condition in here. Another thing that we added was the ability to crawl, which we're going to add more uh, purpose to it later, but this is just a, uh, I don't know why my character's sliding, there we go. So you can see he's, uh, we've got some work to do on that, but it's, it's pro progress. So this is going to be the uh, fire alarm system. So as you see, we've got a fire alarm pull station here and one here. Either one we press or pull. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one. You'll see it activates our fire alarm. And what we can do is go into this room, which contains the uh, master panel. This shows where the alarm activation is, or if there is one. And we can reset it from here, so we'll do that. Press E. Red light's off. Fire alarm is off. Um, ignore the rain falling through the sky. It's not supposed to be raining right now. Okay, so what I also want to show is smoke de smoke detectors and the f sp uh, sprinkler system so like you can see there's a sprinkler in here what I'm gonna do is activate that sprinkler so this is useful if there's a fire um, if there's a sprinkler near the near enough to the fire it'll start to extinguish it on its own once again you can uh, you can reset the sprinkler on the master panel. So these smoke detectors, fire alarm sprinklers, they're all going to be 
strategically positioned in all the buildings with interiors. So now I'll show you the smoke detector. Which this is this will go off if there's any smoke or fire in the vicinity of it. However, unlike the sprinkler, it's not gonna put it out. It's just gonna go off. And sort of alert you more towards where the fire is or the smoke. So when we've got a full blown fire, you're gonna have a lot of stuff going on. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and run and get uh, the truck company. Alright, so we're here at the rear of the ladder truck. You can see the UI on the top left. It gives me my options for the ladders. We already used the 12 foot extension over there. We're going to pull out the 35 footer now. And I'm going to go ahead and walk. I'll cut this part because it's going to take a while. Okay, so I'm at where I want to be to put this ladder up. I'm going to get it up to that uh, third floor bulkhead. So I'm going to line up where I want to put it. Press F, Q to extend it. And I'll press F to let it go. Let me step back and see how we're looking here. Looks like we're perfect. So all I have to do is press C making my way up another cool thing is that we can use all these uh, static ladders so the ladders over there on the fire escapes ladders on the other buildings they're all usable so. I wanted to get off this rooftop I've got the means to do so. We've got two other ladders. However, these are not extension ladders, they're simply uh, straights, so all we'd have to do is place it where we want it. Probably need to get closer. And then let it go. And there we go. So there's uh, many possibilities for when you can use these ladders. And, um, a cool other feature you'll be able to use now especially when it comes to truck company operations you can find this like this but that is our physics base so it does matter where you are leaning it and whatnot so So that concludes the uh, this fire academy lesson on the on the ladders. So each truck company will have the four different ladders, and each engine will have one 12 foot extension ladder. So always be sure to replace it, set it back up. Alright guys, so be sure to watch the live stream I just did earlier today. 
that goes over more uh, gameplay of things that we've added in the game and bugs that we fixed where we are development wise um, and to the nearest release also we address some of the uh, communication issues we've had with our, our community and the support um, we're back to full communication so be sure to watch that we go over everything and uh, the whole situation we're going through right now but we hope you guys uh, like this new progress and the next fire academy video we put out will hopefully be putting out the fire which is I know every, everybody's been waiting for that so thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned on our Facebook pages our steam forums and discussions emerge-nyc.com is our new website many of you may have noticed flipswitchgames.net is down so be sure to go check out those forums and start some discussions we'll be more active on there as well thanks for watching guys